Ukrainska Pravda street battles for every house continue in the city of Bakhmut, border guards post a video of them breaking out of an encirclement. The invaders surrounded the building in Bakhmut where the border guards were staying at night. To repel the attack, soldier with the alias, architect climbed onto the roof of the building and threw grenades at the enemy. Thanks to the risky actions of our defenders, the invaders were killed, and they managed to break out of the encirclement. The footage shows a soldier with the alias architect, saying that his group took up their position. According to him, the day ran routinely, i.e., under non-stop Russian mortar fire. Bakhmut has very dense housing and a small distance between houses. Russian troops entered the neighboring buildings at night, surrounding a group of Ukrainian border guards. According to the architect, the battle began in the morning and was challenging. He decided to climb up to the roof to throw a few grenades. At the same time, an invader from the assault group entered the house's ground floor, where the border guards were staying. Ukrainian troops killed the occupier, but he managed to throw several grenades, which set the house on fire. The border guards had to escape through the roof. Background, President Volodymyr Zelensky confirmed that the situation in the city of Bakhmut in Donetsk Oblast is most complicated. Nevertheless, the Russians do not control the city. Ukraine's defense forces are engaged in fierce battles with the invaders. Ukraine's Special Operations Forces releases video of their soldiers' actions in Bakhmut Ukrainian Special Operations Forces operators have released a video showing some of the work of the soldiers in Bakhmut, which can be shown to the public. The footage shows only a small part of the work of our soldiers in the city itself, which can be shown to the public. The fight for the city continues. All the while, fighting was intensifying inside the city. Ms. Bazula traveled into Bakhmut under cover of darkness last week. The town is destroyed, she said. I was in Bakhmut about three weeks ago, and even since then the difference was very big. She said the din of fighting was constant. It is permanently being attacked when you are in Bakhmut. There are permanent street fights and planes, and it's creepy, because the planes are not ours. Fighting has moved from the small private houses on the east side of the town, across the river to the multi-story residential blocks in the center. When they encountered resistance, Russian troops simply demolished block after block with artillery, said Mamuka Mamulashvili, the commander of the Georgian Legion, a grouping of Georgian and other international soldiers whose units were fighting in the city. Artillery is pushing us back, he said. They are deleting whole blocks. A war veteran, Yevon Daiki, interviewed on a regional Ukrainian television channel, First Western, quoted a friend who had just returned from Bakhmut, Finally, I escaped hell. This hell is close combat, Mr. Daiki said. When you see the enemy's face. When you throw grenades at EACH other's windows, when the fighting is in private houses, and one house is ours and the next house is theirs. Fighting in the ruins of high-rise buildings was no easier, he said. One entrance can be ours, one entrance is theirs. Обстановка 4-5-0, небольшие прилеты. He quoted another of his friends who was fighting in Bakhmut, we are tired not so much from the fights, but from the emotional swings. One minute we are in the mood that all of us will die heroically now and there's no way out. Another minute we're in the mood, now we will break them, we'll push them away. And these moods change several times a day. Bakhmut was a meat grinder for both sides, Mr. Daiki said. But he insisted that Ukraine should hold the city to thwart Russia. It is very sensitive to symbolic things, symbolic defeats, symbolic victories, he said of Russia. And Bakhmut is a symbolic city for them. This amount of Russian losses hasn't caused an explosion in Russian society yet, 
but it resonates a lot inside the Russian army, he added. And the longer these crazy losses unjustified in the opinion of lower and middle rank soldiers go on, the lower the morale of the Russian army will be at the time of our counteroffensive. A new video reportedly shows Ukraine launching cluster munitions against Russian infantry in the Donetsk Oblast. In the aerial video, bright points of light burst where the munitions explode across the battlefield. It's a powerful visual of how controversial and devastating weapons work. Earlier this month, the US announced a shipment of controversial cluster munitions to Ukraine. And now, a new video shows Kiev is already making use of it to devastating effects. The footage, posted by the Ukraine war monitoring account OSAN Defender, reportedly shows the first use of cluster munitions near Krasnomorivka, a city west of Donetsk and just south of Bakhmut. In the video, the bomblets released from the cluster bomb canister are launched across an area. The spots hit by munitions pop in bright light randomly, demonstrating the chaos of using cluster bombs on the battlefield. When the U.S. announced it'd be sending cluster bombs as a part of an $800 million package, American officials said the weapons would be a boon for Kiev as it grapples with other munition shortages. Despite their effectiveness, especially at clearing uncovered trenches and artillery lines, cluster munitions aren't a silver bullet for Ukraine. Part of the problem is the individual dud rate of each bomblet, meaning the munition could fail to explode and become a landmine instead. That issue has prompted more than 100 countries to ban the use of cluster bombs, and while the US has assured the munitions it sent to Ukraine had a dud rate of just 2.35%, Insider previously reported that analysis indicates the failure rate could be as high as 10% to 30%.